Well, Lord Mayor, last time we were up here in March, we were talking about the removal of the old wooden frames, the old ceiling. It's looking very different now. Look, it's changed a lot, hasn't it, Andrew? A, a lot of that sort of garbage, I think, has been removed, really, and it looks very clean and robust now. It's great to see particularly this issue about uh, the runoff of the, the sprinkler system, the fire sprinkler system. Water now is being dealt with with these great new box gutters and the material we're standing on. Now these walkways obviously look very different now as well. Why do we need this kind of access up here in the dome? Well there's an ongoing need for access up here for maintenance purposes, for the adjustment of lighting, uh, when light you know, globes for example blow etc, work on the wiring. You always need to get people up in here and so you have to have proper safe uh, walkways and, and uh, you know, effective safe access. We just heard the bell go off but, but quite faintly through the ceiling. Those acoustic problems that have been notorious in the auditorium, what, can they, what have they done about those? Well there's heaps of work they've been doing on that. There's been this uh, detailed computer modelling by the experts and uh, essentially what they're trying to do is deal with the way that the dome used to work. You see it used to reflect all the sound back down. Uh, they've, there's still got to be a level of reflection but essentially the new dome will be set up so that it will absorb a lot of that sound. Interestingly they're also going to have these movable panels or baffles so apparently they'll be able to change the actual setup depending on whether they've got an organ recital or just a general sort of uh, instrumental thing going on. So they'll actually be able to change the sound characteristics of the dome depending on what's going on down below. And when it's done how different is it going to look inside the dome? Well, I think it'll look uh, probably fairly similar. I mean, we, we uh, ultimately, with the heritage issues, we've got to sort of maintain the look and feel. Yeah. But it's the sound that I'm really hoping that we've got right. Uh, that's the issue that's been here for 80 years where it hasn't worked properly. Uh, and this was the big opportunity to get it right. And certainly I'm hoping for a huge improvement in the sound quality.